Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We just got back from Florida two days ago and I have a huge haul for you guys. I shopped a little bit with my mom. We ran to the Tampa Target and I'm sure there's multiple Targets in Tampa. But anyway, we ran to a Target in Tampa and they had a lot of good stuff. Um, I ordered one dress because I didn't have it in my size, so I'll link that down below. It's super cute. It's like a one shoulder kind of puff sleeve with a cutout midi dress. Super duper cute. And then Kyle also took me to um, a mall in Tampa, which was really, really fun. They had so many stores. Like, it was honestly, it was so overwhelming. We didn't even get to everywhere we wanted to because it would have taken multiple days to get through that mall. Um, I can't remember which one it was. International? Anyway, I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. I wanna hop right in. As always, everything will be linked down below. And then I'll also put my sizing information down below for reference as well. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Jumping right into a super simple look. This is from Abercrombie. So on top, I have this bodysuit on. This is buttery soft. It's double layered. Um, so it's like really smoothing. You can't see like my bra lines or anything like that. I got it in my true size extra small and I feel like it fits me perfectly. It is a thong back and it snaps um, down at the bottom so it's convenient and you don't have to worry about underwear lines or anything like that. It has like a subtle square neckline which I think is really flattering and then I just paired it with these high rise mom jeans from Abercrombie. So these I got in a size 25. I feel like Abercrombie size like sizing lately for me I've been like all over the boards I don't know why sometimes I'm a 24 sometimes I'm a 25 so since these are the mom fit I got these like I said in a size 25 they are a bit loose up here but just like in a comfortable way like they're not gapping or anything like that and these are just so darn comfortable and soft to the touch they have just a nice amount of stretch to them I feel like they're super flattering, but they're still like trendy because they're a bit loose. Uh, but these are definitely good ones if you're not totally into like the baggy jeans, the dad jeans. I feel like these are a good happy medium because they're still fitted like on the bum and in the legs. So flattering, but then they do have like the looseness and the distressing at the bottom, which like I said, just makes them feel a bit trendier. Absolutely love these. These are my new favorites. I would wear these even just for a day, like hanging out at home because that's how comfortable they are. Definitely think in a size 24, they would have been too tight. The fit wouldn't have been right. So um, when I measure my waist, I'm like a 25 and a half inch waist and I ordered a 25. So hopefully that's helpful in sizing. I feel like these are pretty like true to size based on like your waist measurement. And then on bottom, I have my favorite Target sandals on. I've shared these multiple times. I cannot stop wearing these. They're literally my favorite. And they're just easy to slip on. So that is the look. Oh, and I had a bag on too. Let me go get that. Okay, so this bag was recently sent to me by Threaded Pair. I just think this is so cute. This is a vegan leather bag. It's a really, really nice material. It's soft to the touch and it looks very authentic. And then this strap is actually very easily taken off just by this little clip here. So you can purchase different straps and swap them from outfit to outfit. So I picked out this dark green and red stripe strap. I just thought this was a really cool color combo, super cute. And I feel like this look with sneakers would just be like a really nice kind of sporty everyday look. I do have a coupon code for threaded pair for 25% off. I believe it's Riley 25. Put it on the screen i'll put it down below and i'll link this bag for you okay next i got these mom shorts from abercrombie so these are almost the same wash and everything um but these are the mom short high rise so they also have these in the curve love same as the jeans they also have those in curve love if you have more of like a curvy um shape if you have you know bigger hips bigger bum and legs i actually really like the curve love Line. I have a couple pairs of jeans and I really like the way they fit. So keep in mind that's always an option. These I just got the regular and these ones I got in a size 24. So I definitely don't feel like I could have done the 25 in these because I'm like comfortable in these ones. I almost wish they were a little bit looser in through here. So it almost makes me want to try the Curve Love to see if I would like the fit better because these are like, you know, pretty fitted in through here and here, which I like mine just like a little bit looser and baggier. But I do think these are really nice. They're super duper soft and I love the wash. I think the back is so flattering. I love their pocket placement. I always think that it's like perfect and these are not too short either. Like my bum's not hanging out and they had these in a ton of different washes as well. I did find um, with the other washes because I was trying them on in store. Some of like the darker washes seem to be a bit more like stiff whereas like the lighter washes in this wash in particular is like stretchier and softer. So 
just keep that in mind it does vary a little bit from wash to wash but I really love these and I think they're like a good basic short something good to have in your closet these would be really cute with like a band tee tucked in um, you know something like looser on top it's probably the route that I will go when I wear these um, unless I decide to try the curve love and get like a looser fit down here but with a tighter fitting short I always like to do something a bit more like casual and loose on top like a band tee so all right next up again all Abercrombie except for my shoes which I will mention just a minute these are definitely a fave of mine from this haul but the next thing I grabbed from Abercrombie was just this one shoulder top so I actually just like tucked in one side of my bra so it's like a little bit I don't know it's definitely not like seamless right there uh, I would probably do a strapless bra with one strap on it just for like the extra support and comfort and then I would just cross my strap over to the other side so it like followed this does that make sense I absolutely love this it's not a bodysuit it's just a tank and it comes to about here it's a really nice ribbed material and I absolutely loved this gray color I don't know there's something about it something about the tone that I just think is so pretty and on bottom I have these ankle straight jeans so these are in a size 26 I actually own these in a size 24 I ordered them in a size 25 and the 25 was still like snug in my waist so the issue with the 24s is like when I sit down or anything I just cannot breathe like I cannot sit down without unbuttoning it so I feel like the rest of the jeans fit me perfectly but the waist is just really snug so I do find with this specific fit and style the waist is much tighter like this is a 26 and they're not even as loose as the 25s were in the other style but I just love the way that these look in just the fit and like the looseness at the bottom it's a little bit different than the mom jean fit and I love the way it cuts across my ankle I just think it looks really cute with heels and sandals but my problem with the 26 right now is all this bunching that I'm getting in through here so I'm like shoot I thought this was going to be the perfect fit and I just I don't know if that's too too bunchy for me right there I think it might be but I feel like if you had wider hips that probably wouldn't happen because you'd be like filling this out but the waist is just so darn snug in this fit that it's like I don't know the 24s fit me everywhere else but the waist is too tight and now the 26 waist feels good like I could definitely sit down I could eat in these but then there's a lot of action going on here but yeah keep that in mind otherwise these have been my favorite jeans from Abercrombie for like a year now they're just my absolute favorite and they're so comfortable other than the fit issues I'm having anyway on bottom I paired them with these shoes that I got from Altered State I almost forgot what the shop was called but they're so cute they have like a little acrylic heel a white bottom and then two matte clear straps I felt like these would be really good to wear to weddings or just casually like this I love that they're just cool and different and they almost give you the effect of like not wearing shoes at all other than the white bottoms so I really really love these and I cannot tell you how comfortable these are like I literally could walk in these all day long they're so so comfortable and the straps are so soft and they're like a bit not stretchy but like forgiving so when you walk there's no rubbing or anything like that absolutely love them and just a cute simple look okay next up this is one of my new favorite tops I actually forgot to mention this in my last video I did not buy this in Florida but I bought it recently and I just uploaded what's new in my closet and I don't know how I missed this because like I said it's literally one of my favorite tops so there's multiple ways to wear this this is how I've been wearing it just like tied up at the waist and then it's just like super loose and flowy and it's really really nice and I mentioned I got this at Urban Outfitters I don't know if I even mentioned where I got it um, I just love it though it's like the perfect top it's pretty sheer so I just have a nude bra underneath and you can't see it really like at all you could wear like a cute bralette a nude bralette or something or you could even put like a tank top on underneath it but I kind of like it like off the shoulder like this just really loose and effortless like I said there's multiple ways to wear it though um, it does untie there so this is how I originally bought it and I hadn't even thought about tying it but I just loved the look of this I thought it'd be really cute if you kind of like roughly tuck in kind of one side and wear it like that this is also really cute with leggings and just kind of like layered up um, you could also wear it as a beach cover-up that would be really cute as well the quality is so nice by the way in the back it does come down and cover my bum so like I said you could wear it with leggings next up I have another item from altered state which is a store I had never shopped in before but they have really really cute 
um, like dresses, a lot of dresses with like ruffles and floral and like ties and bows and just really, really girly and cute. But then they also have cute like band t-shirts and um, distressed shorts, pantsuits, rompers, so many good finds in that store and I was honestly overwhelmed. This pantsuit stuck out to me though and I was like, I need that, I don't have anything like that in my closet. I got this in a size small. I feel like it fits me perfectly. The only thing is, is these are a tiny bit loose. So uh, not loose enough that I think they're really gonna fall off my shoulder, but I think I would feel more comfortable if it was like this. I also have like a really short torso. So that is very common in jumpsuits for me for this part to be like too long. But I love the way the stripes come in here and then these little cutouts on the side. It is lined, so you don't have to worry about it being see-through and it's super duper comfortable. Um, I feel like it's very flattering and just like fun, easy to wear. This is something that I feel like you could dress up and wear to like a baby shower, something like that. But then you could also just throw on flat sandals and wear this for like a casual day running errand. So I love that about it. It's very versatile and I think once I take these straps up, it would be even better. I've been so into pantsuits lately, so I found this one at H&M and just fell in love with it. I like that it almost looks like loungewear, like from here down, these look like pajama pants. Has this really cute smocked waistline with the tie shoulders, this tie at the bust. So cute. So this actually is not lined other than in the bust, um, and it is a bit sheer. So definitely some nude, um, like seamless panties would be needed with this in this really, really cute like seersucker material. It's super thin, lightweight, and soft to the touch. I think this is really cute, flattering. Yeah, just an easy little jumpsuit to throw on. I have it on with just my favorite Target sandals. I love that it's kind of like a cropped length. It cuts off right around my ankle, and I just feel like I'm gonna wear this all summer. I think it's really comfortable and cute. Next from H&M, I got these wide leg pants. So these are in like a crinkly kind of like silky satin material. They're nice and thin, but not see-through. They have pockets and elastic waist. So these are just really, really, really comfortable. I could see um, these like over a bikini with some sandals or over like a one piece, any bathing suit, or also paired up with like a tank like this for something more casual. A lot of different ways that you could wear this though. I also feel like you could throw on a blazer with this, wear these to work. They're just a really, really nice pant to have. I love the finish of them. I do need to steam them because I actually wore these in Florida threw them in my suitcase and then pulled them out for this haul. So they're very wrinkled at the bottom, but I got these in a size small. So I did size up one. I do think the extra small probably would have been a little bit better because the top is like a little bit big. The extra small probably would have been just a little bit better, but I actually really like the fit of these. The looseness of them just makes them more comfortable. And yeah, I just thought they looked really cute with this bodysuit from Abercrombie that I showed in the beginning. They're almost the exact same color. So I feel like it creates a really nice monochromatic look. All right, next up, the few pieces that I found from Target. So this is by Who What Wear. I love that brand. The Target close to me only carries like one or two. I don't know. I don't often see like the full line um, in our Target. So when I went to Tampa, I saw they had an entire section I was like in heaven. Unfortunately, they didn't have a lot of my size, but I did grab this little two-piece set. So I actually got these shorts in a size two. So let me pull this up so you guys can see. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell. These are a little bit big on me, but I didn't even see a size zero online. So I don't know if this is the smallest size, but with that said, I think these definitely fit smaller than a two, especially in the waist. But then again, they are stretchy. They do have that smocked back, so they are stretchy, but yeah, I wish they had had a zero just so I could have tried it because I do think that these are a little bit big on me. Um, actually, same with the top, and I got the top in a size extra small. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to like show you all the details. But yeah, these shorts are so cute. These would even be cute with just like a fitted white bodysuit or something like that. Um, but I really liked the idea of having this as like a matching set. So this top, again, like I said, I feel like it is a little bit big. Like I can barely feel it like touching my body. This is all smocked, and it's like not tight whatsoever, but I feel like you can't tell. Like, you cannot tell that this is big on me. I think it still looks like it fits. Very, very comfortable. It's like a soft, thin, lightweight material. I love the shape of this top. I'm not a huge fan of like peplum tops 
anymore. Like for me, I used to wear them with jeans and things like that, but I just tend to kind of steer away from them now. But this one I really like, I think because it's a two piece set and I just think it works together. So I have it on same little clear sandals. I think this would be really cute. Even if you wanted to wear this to a wedding, I feel like you could get away with it. If you really want to dress up your hair, throw on some cute chandelier earrings. It would be really, really pretty, but you also could just wear this casually with some sandals as well. Next from Target, this is by Universal Thread. It's like this knit romper. This fabric is so beautiful. I love the scalloped detail and all the detail going on up here. This is really soft and it's like a thicker material, but it's still very breathable because they kept the knit pretty big, if that makes sense. I just think this is so pretty. I love the square neckline. It ties in the back behind your neck and then it ties again at the waist so you can kind of cinch it in but I got mine in an extra small I think it fits really well it's super duper comfortable I feel like this would work as a beach cover-up or if you just wanted to pair it with some flat sandals like this you could wear it casually as well I almost feel like you could throw on some like strappy heels that kind of like wrap up your ankle some big chandelier earrings and wear this to a more I don't want to say formal event but you know you could dress it up as well so yeah, I just think this is super duper cute. I do have a strapless bra on with this and I get a lot of questions on my bras, but I wish I could give a recommendation for those who are local. I shop at City Drawers and I like swear by their bras. They are a little bit more expensive, but to me it's worth it and you can at least like go in and try them on and they have a ton of different sizes. I say I swear by their bras, but I wear a 30D, so I feel like my size is actually really hard to find. I was a 30 double D and that was even harder, but now that they've gone down even more, I just feel like I feel like a 30D is still a little bit tricky. It's not something that I can just grab at Target or something like that. So I really appreciate being able to like go into a place and try bras on, which I can there. So like I said, if you're local, city drawers downtown, there's two locations in Maine, I believe. Highly recommend checking them out. But other than that, I wish I could link a good bra for you guys. But back to the romper, absolutely love this. I do think it's a little oversized. I feel like you could size down if you wanted it to be a little more fitted than this. Um, but I do like, like the looser fit. So true to size if you want it to fit like this and size down if you would like it a little more fitted. All right, I'm back in those same mom jeans from the beginning, same clear strap sandals. And then this top I got from Zara. So I actually used to work at the Zara in Boston when I was in college and I just fell in love with the brand. I saw that the mall had a Zara. I was like, I have to go in and I hadn't been in there in a really long time. So I found this top, which I just think is so unique. I have no idea where I'm wearing this. Um, I have no plans. I just, for some reason, could not leave this in the store. I just think it's so cool. I love the fabric. It's like almost like a windsuit material. I don't know how else to describe it, but I thought this cream color was just stunning. The shape of the top is so unique. It's got like a corset style top, but then it's got these huge draped like sleeves, which I think is so pretty. It's super cute from the side as well because the sleeves are so exaggerated. Um, I don't have it fully zipped in the back just because I couldn't like physically zip it up. So it would actually have a bit more support here at the top. It's like kind of sliding around but yeah absolutely love it i just think this looks super high-end that's the thing i like about zara is that their stuff looks really really expensive high-end and designer but at a more affordable price i did size up in this one though i'm hoping i can find it online i've never tried to link anything from zara so i'll see what i can do i'll do my best but absolutely love this okay guys last piece is this top this is again from zara this has to be one of my favorite pieces from this haul I just think that this is stunning. I love the color. It's like a crinkled satin material. It's so soft. The fit is really good. I got this in my true size and I just think it's perfect. I love it with these light jeans and clear sandals. I also think it would look good with some darker jeans as well. But it's really flattering and it kind of just like meets your jeans. So it's not totally cropped. And if you wear something high-waisted, you're not really going to show that much skin. But I love the wide strap as well because I'm actually wearing a regular bra with it. And you can just see it like peeking through a little bit down here, but not enough for it to matter. So you can definitely get away with wearing a regular bra. I just think this is really pretty. I actually don't have any um, like draped satin shirts like this. I know they're super trendy, but I feel like I just haven't found the right one for me. And this one, 
I just love. All right, guys, that is absolutely it for today's haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite piece was in the comments down below. Let me know if you have any requests. I have, um, what do I have coming up? I have a Walmart haul coming up. I wanna do maybe like a what I eat in a day kind of vlog um, style video. And then I also, I'm pretty sure I promised you guys something workout related, like a workout routine or something like that. So I've got to get brainstorming on exactly what I'm going to include in that video, but stay tuned. I have a lot of good content coming this month. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. I know this is probably going to go up like a week early uh, before Mother's Day, but happy Mother's Day anyway. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.